So in Welcome to Round 1, uh, right. we'll get there later. Uh, let's see. You can begin attack damage. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I had to, to re reinstall Magic Online, so my priorities have been reset here. Uh, yes, I like to play first. Oh man, those sounds. Wait a second. There we go. Uh, so yes, we are going to keep this one. Even though we have a bunch of late game haymakers here. But we do have some early game creatures as well. Starting with a Heartstopper. It's a fine card to have. Okay, unclaimed territory is fine. Let's cast the Skyblade, attack. I guess the reason for me to not play the thing before attacking is because he could have Skull Druggery. Skull Duggery, I can't remember the, the exact card's name. Uh, which, you know, this this would allow him to give plus one plus one to this card and minus one minus one to this one. But it is a one two, so it's not that important. But it's still nice to keep in mind. Okay, let's drop planes and attack. Dealing important early points of damage here, but we do need to, to start drawing to our stuff. The fact that we had no 3 drops is, 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 is problematic because we have a bunch of 3 drops in the deck. Alright, that's an... That's an it's, a, it's a very annoying card, by the way. Alright. The fact that we have Settle the Wreckage is fine. But I don't foresee using it anytime soon here. I mean, if he attacks in order to trigger raid, I could try and do that. <clears throat> Either way, next turn we're going to be able to drop uh, a Deacon, bump our 1 3 flyer into a 3 3, and start attacking in the air with that. And hopefully that's going to be. Too much for him, but I do think he may have some sort of removal spell here. Oh, all right, maybe he's just gonna go ahead and play a pirate. Let's see what's that. He's thinking it's because he may have options. Oh. That's a nice one. I mean, he obviously should have attacked here with his, his lightning recrew and then played this guy and, and untapped the crew. But I guess he, he, he may not necessarily want to draw into, you know... Because like this card in Limited, it can kill you because your deck is gonna have some 4 drops, some 5 drops. So yeah. Yes, we shall see. All right, soldier is fine, but we're gonna uh, vampire. The soldier is fine, but we're gonna hold it to cast it when we have six mana because then we'll be able to do this into this. But right now, let's run the deacon. Flyer is going to be a 3-3, three, three, and that's, like, that could be a problem for him because, you know, if he, uh, yes, if he's going to start drawing cards and, and, and losing life with that thing, that could be a problem. <clears throat> if he attacks, here I take, no reason to block. 
Okay. No reason to lose my Anointed Deacon, which is one of the important cards here in my deck. If I draw a land, I get to, to, to drop a, a, a Deathless Ancient, and that's going to be a big game, I think. Of course, he does have five cards in hand, which could be problematic for us. <coughs> But I guess we shall see. I mean, as of this moment, considering the life totals and board position we are ahead, I would say we're going to have to find something to do here in order to stop, to stunt the bleeding here. Does he have a removal spell? It's interesting because he is red, black, which are the colors of removal. And yet, he has not played a single removal spell all game. In fact, he only cast two spells this game. And both were creatures. So, you know, both were pirates and, you know, pretty good creatures at that. Still, none of them uh, really solve this board position here, this, this, this game situation we have so far. So, Right, he's finally... Oh, he has a lightning strike. That's annoying. It's a good one. This, you know, makes our our offense here much less formidable. But you know, look, let's hope he he attacks with the the raider right now and then draws into a seven drop. <laughs> that would help me. Okay. So if I draw in, I could either play the the. Queen's Bay Soldier, or you know, and leave mana open for the set of the wreckage. What does this thing do? Oh, okay, can't block. Or we could also play the Deathless Ancient. I guess we shall find out soon enough here. And I think at this point he he has a Ooh, nest robber. All right. Okay, Aerosaur. I think next turn, actually, I'm going to cast my set of the wreckage. So what I'm going to do here is... I am going to attack with both. It's a pity I didn't draw into a land, because if I did, it could have just cast the, the, the Queen's Bay Soldier and then still have my open for the set of the wreckage, but right now... It's important for me, I think, to uh, to remove his offense because that can gain him life. And he's probably going to play a, a haste guy and then attack with everything. And also, this thing has to be on the battlefield at the end of turn to for its raid ability to work. So that's fine by me. I mean, he's going to get to. <laughs> To draw a bunch, I mean to, to, to search for a bunch of lands, but that's fine. I can't imagine he has a bunch of, of, of late game drops here if he's running a Ruin Raider. Is it a Yumei ability? No, it is not. Man, if you play like two. Two haste creatures here, that would be so good for me. But I think he may even not play the haste creature because he may, th you know, suspect we have something going on here. All right. But yeah, I, gu I guess the, the, the set of the record is a rare, right? So it's not like playing around it is something that he should do. All right, let's move to the blockers step. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> that is a fine card. So now he has three cards in hand and only the lightning recrew on the 
battlefield to do anything. I mean, if we, if we draw into land and then just, just drop the, the ancient here, that's going to be so problematic for him. All right. There we go. I guess we should attack, right? Because he's probably not going to block anyway with his crew. Then we can tap out after a attack to play this thing. Right now, we're still threatening to activate Death Touch on that little fellow there. Hopefully, he doesn't have a removal spell at the end of turn here, too. I mean, hopefully, not, not an exile one, because if it's just a removal spell, then he's just gonna delay the, the inevitable, the Deathless Ancient. I mean, like I said, do need, need a bunch of, of empires here to, to bring it back. Uh, he's gonna have something. Alright, Vanquish the Weak. Okie doke. I guess we can just, you know, drop the, the Aerosaur next turn, jump in this guy. So he goes down to, to one. That's gonna be very threatening. Then we can also play the Queen's Bay Soldier to hold the fort here if he has some sort of attacker, which he, which he is gonna, since he's going to, you know, he, he, he tapped his, his crew, meaning that he's going to play a, a pirate here. Oh, it's a fire even. Oh, that's, that's, that's interesting. I mean, it's a good thing he didn't play that thing in that set of the, the, the wreckage turn, huh? That would be annoying. <laughs> that would be quite problematic for us. Here he's going to take the Aerosaur, I believe. Oh, oh, he can't, right? It's non-creature, non-land card. Sure. But he is getting there, he, he is playing creatures. Okay. Alright. That's a nice one. <laughs> so do I attack with both here? I'm not sure. I think I attack with the Ancient and leave this thing back. See if he blocks. Because, like, I'm gonna drop a Knave and a Queen's Bay Soldier, right? Or maybe not. Maybe, maybe I drop this thing and this thing. Probably better. Because I do want to block his 3 3 because he may have some sort of, you know, that thing that, that deals 4 damage. That's going to be super annoying. So yeah, I'm going to go Knave, Soldier, leave him in up for this guy. So right now what I'm going to do is attack him with the Ancient, bringing him down at 2. If he doesn't block, or if he doesn't remove my guy. I can't think of a card that would remove it. In this situation here with only three mana. Alright, so he chumped. He may have another lightning strike. But if he does, that's fine because like he, he kills my 4-4 my four, four flyer, but that's three damage that don't come to my face. Because right now he's <laughs> very close here to a situation in which He'd be able to, to just, you know, burn me out. And right now I do have this guy, meaning that next turn I get to attack him. I mean, I have both a 3-2 a and a 2-2, two, two, meaning that next turn I get to Imperial Sour something here and just kill him if he doesn't have anything, you know, a flyer or a removal spell. So I guess we will see. All right, there we go. So 
So, uh, red, black, pirates, aggressive. Demystify, nah. Vampire Zeo. Vampire Zeo may be important here because he's. You know, the, the, the two removal spells that we saw were based on either power or, or toughness, and this thing can counter them. Uh, Slash of Talons is important as well, I think. So we can take out what? A Knave. Yeah, I think it's the least important card in my deck. And it's a 3 drop. So yeah, Vampire Zeal. And the Zeal obviously doubles as uh, a combat trick. And also, it, it can be damage that goes directly to his face if, we, if we're attacking with a Flyer. You can also help me by pumping a token and making me gain more life. So there's a bunch of of ways to make that card work and also the fact that it gives first strike is very important if we have say something like a, a deacon giving plus two plus zero to another card and then he blocks and you know first strike in that situation can be quite pro problematic if we have a high power uh, low toughness creature I guess we shall see here So he chose to play first, and I am keeping this hand definitely. We have land, we have vampires, we have costly plunder with a way to make tokens, so that's bound to be good for us. Alright, Legion, Conquistador. Okay, so I guess here I probably play the Conquistador before playing the Blood Ladder. Just because, you know, playing the Conquistador mean, means that I get to thin my deck and get more cards. I really don't want to draw into another Conquistador when I have one in my hand. Let's go ahead and play this guy. The Skyblade. <clears throat> The next turn is probably a conquistador for us. Alright, annoying card. Okay. So we get to. We have five cards in, in hand, meaning that we get to search for both the other copies that we that we have in, in the deck. Second in the air, we're gonna be hit for three here. Which is annoying, but I guess next turn we can play another Conquistador and uh, then double block his guy. If he has a removal spot, then so be it. It's gonna be basically a one for one because each Conquistador got got the others. Okay. Oh, that that guy is very annoying. He doesn't have menace though, does it? He does not. So we're gonna start drawing cards here. Interesting. Vanquish the weak. Okay. Meaning that he is going to have combat trick to deal with our double block. But we did draw into a, a combat trick of our own that has one mana. That, that costs one mana, so that's fine by me. So yeah, I guess what I'm going to do here is play another Conquistador. And when he attacks, I'm going to block the Ruin Raider. And if he does not attack with the Ruin Raider, which is, is a possibility, we can double block, then we will force him to... Uh, Spend his turn uh, uh, casting his his re removal spell, and then we get to to cast the slash of talons anyway and kill his guy. He is going to to, to draw cards, 
draw one card at least thanks to the the Ruin Raider. <clears throat> oh, attack with both. Interesting. So what am I gonna do here? I guess I do the block this thing. Then he's gonna remove one of my guys, but then I remove his guy. It's gonna be one for one and Yeah, I suppose so. Hmm. He may have some, some sort of combat trick here, which is why I want to double block. Yep, that, that's what I'm going to do. Double block in here. So if he has that removal spell, he and he, you know, he does have it, but if he taps out to use it, I then, in, in response, kill the room later. Sure strike. Oh, so that's why he has. Interesting. Man, if he has a skill degree here, it's going to be so problematic for me. But let's try and do this. In response, then. <clears throat> All right. It's not really a two for one for him since my conquistadors are basically one card, right? I used one card to get the other, so... Oh, all right, Vanquish the Weak. It's an interesting one. Uh, vampire. So we get to Vanquish that thing. And then... We're gonna attack. If he doesn't have anything to do here, he could just, you know, use his own Vanquish, but in response, we would cast a costly plunder. It's important against this, this black red pirate deck to keep your life total high, as far as I've seen. Uh, okay. Menace and he explores. All right, just a two-two. It's fine by me. Aerosaur is fine. I guess we could play this thing here, All right? Because this way we get to double block his 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 menace guy. And if he wants to, to waste a, uh, a removal spell in one of the tokens in which, you know, uh, uh, before combat damage, then be my guest. I'll even get to draw a couple cards. I'll lose my other, my other token, but that's fine. I'll draw a bunch of cards. He's going to lose his uh, removal spell, and, you know, he's going to have to, to tap out during his turn, which is, which is great for us. Meaning that he does not develop further his board position here. So next turn, I probably go a blood, blood letter conquistador. You know, uh, uh, if I'm going to draw to be drawing land, of course. Mm, nest robber, sure. Right, so I guess I do block the nest robber. Yep. I guess I do. It's fine by me. If he has a skull duggery, I get to uh, costly plunder in response. The good thing here is that, like, if that's what what happens, then I. All right. Okay, that's fine by me. Oh, 
Oh, the Tormentor. Sure. I guess I do discard the Conquistador then. It's fine. All right, that's a fine one. Uh, I could just run the, the, the Blood Ladder, but the problem is he does have a removal spell in hand. And I don't really want him to, to aim it at a flyer of mine. So it may just be better for me to drop this guy. Then I can double block, I can just, you know, single block. Could be both. That could be something. I guess maybe I should play both. Because if he is gonna be tapping during his turn to, to play that card, yeah, I think I think it's okay. I, I think that there's a chance he waits until my turn to play that card because it's an instant. So he's gonna want to see what I'm gonna play afterwards here, so. And if he plays it, then well, he he, he ha, you know he is not going to be developing his board position as much as he could. So that's okay. But I think it's it's worth the gamble here. I don't think he's going to be firing off that removal spell during my turn. I mean during his turn. I think he may just you know play something else or just wait until my turn to do it. And yeah, if he attacks, I guess I do block with the 2-2. Two, two. Okay. <clears throat> so I go down to 5. I mean to 15. Then if all goes according to plan, we get to deal three damage to him next turn. In the air. He, he may play some, some sort of raid creature here. Man, I hope that's not the, the five mana three two one that deals damage. Alright. So let's do this one, two, three. I mean I'm not gonna do that. Because like he, he cannot block my guy and I'm probably going to draw into stuff with this thing. So I may have something else that I want to play here. Let's see, he may just play that thing during combat. Vanquish the weak. So he's thinking. I, I mean, another nice uh, uh, mind game here is that I started, you know, tapping mana. So he knows I have something to play here. So he may just want to uh, wait for him for for me to play something else here before he plays his removal spell and in this way he he you know takes more damage from this guy here he takes he takes more damage this combat than than he would otherwise all right vanquish the weak we are going to in response wait a second all right there we go Sacrificing the creature in drawing two cards. <clears throat> okay. Deacon is an amazing one to have right now. Let's hope he doesn't play anything too scary here. He 
has three cards in hand. I hope they're all ground creatures. No removal spell, no flyers. If that's the case, we are probably winning this game within two turns. Thanks to the, the Deacon. What's that? Duress? Oh. Oh, that's... That's a fine card, by the way. In the fire deck. Still haven't played with it. I've been drafting, you know, much less than I usually do. Ouch! Look at that. <laughs> okay, well, taking seven here, I guess. Alright. Okay. So it's... One, two, three, four, five. We get to bump the life linker. Meaning that we gain some life here. And he goes down to one. Oh yes. Meaning that he's going to be, to, you know, he's going to have to deal with both my flyers now, if he wants to to live. Let's play a planes and say go. You get to chomp his. Let's see, seven. Uh, I'm gonna go down. F I'm gonna be at five. Yeah, if he has like two a, a burn spells, he could just kill me if I don't block here. But apparently he did. Excellent. See you round two. <laughs>